Welcome to the devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky. But what do the scriptures say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. St. Paul in Romans quoting Genesis. This is a check. It's not money, but it is a promise by the one who sent the check that money would be put into my account because the check's made out to me. It's a promise to pay. This is a credit card. Kind of works the same way. I go to a store and I purchase an item and I take it home and I give them this and they run it and this is a promise that the merchant will be paid and I'll pay them either at a later date or over time. We make promises and some promises are easier to keep than others like the promise to do chores or the promise to be careful. These are easy promises to make. Some promises have dire consequences if they are broken, like your marriage vows. If you break that promise, there are huge circumstances and consequences to that. Or you promise to pay a bank a mortgage payment regularly and the amount of money that mortgage is set up for. If you break that promise, the dire consequences, you'll lose your house. We all make promises. We all break promises, but sometimes the breaking of a promise doesn't have the same kind of consequences as other promises do. Now, because we all make promises, it should not surprise us that God makes promises. After all, we are created in God's image. God makes two promises to us. One, God will punish sin. But two, God will forgive your sins for the sake of Jesus Christ. We all sin, and God will keep his promise that all sin must be punished. But God forgives your sins because he promised to send a savior. Way back in Genesis, this is recorded, and the promise is made to Noah, the promise is made to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to David, and was ultimately fulfilled in the birth, the life, the death, the resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus Christ. God makes the same promises to you and me that he made to all of those people in the Old Testament, that a Savior would come and that a Savior will forgive us all our sins. Jesus is God's keeping that promise. So what do you do with that? I would like you to consider doing three things. Live in the promise. Yes, you are a sinner, but God forgives your sins. He punishes sin, but he punished Jesus who took your sins on himself and gives you in its place his righteousness. Live in that promise. Witness to that promise. That's number two. Everyone is his witness. If you believe in Jesus Christ, witness to the promises that are made to you through Jesus and by Jesus. And third, encourage others in the promise that God gives us. I mean, what was the reason you went to church this last weekend if you went to church? To hear a sermon, to hear the scripture readings, to take the Lord's Supper, to hear beautiful music? That's all valid reasons to go to church. But we also go to church for the mutual consolation of the brethren, as the Lutheran confessions say. We are encouraged by each other in church to live in the promises of God that we hear about in church. And when we go out into the mission field after church, we are strengthened in our faith by God through the means of grace and by each other as we go and live together in being the witness to the promise of Jesus. Would you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for making a promise to us and keeping that promise of sending a savior in Jesus Christ. Help us to live in the promise, to witness to the promise, and to encourage in the promise. In Jesus' name, amen. 
I'm Pastor Ed Blodsky from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center. Thank you for joining me for the devotional moment today. I invite you to be encouraged in worship. Come on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock during the season of Lent, so that's throughout the month of March and into the beginning of April. We have our Easter services and Holy Week services coming up in April as well. Check our website for service times and days. And join us for worship on the weekends on Saturday nights at 5.30 and Sunday mornings at 8 and 10.45. And join us again next time for another devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center. God's richest blessings to you.